Normal people become terrified of criminals. Shots were just fired. Police just came out and told us, and we're headed there right now. They become terrified of their own government. Big news, ladies and gentlemen. The new Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer has dropped, and fans are concerned it will be woke. So, uh, for context, we will... Oh, actually, I don't even know if I can... Can I play this? Official... Uh, am, uh, like, I'm not concerned about the copyright stuff. I'm concerned about there's, like, graphic stuff in here. But we'll play just a little bit for you guys of the uh, uh, GTA 6 trailer, and then we'll talk about the game getting woke. All right, here we go. Let's see. Lucia. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it right away. The game literally starts off with two women of color in prison. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Uh, that's basically it. And then it just shows you a bunch of shots. But there's concerns about the game being woke. We have this from Sports Kita that asks the question. GTA 6 reveal is just around the corner. It came out just uh, today. Scheduled for de uh, December 5th. Well, the trailer came out today. As one of the most anticipated games in history, Paris for its, uh, uh, to release its first trailer, fans have many questions about how it will turn out. A major question is whether or not the upcoming game will be woke which refers to a heavy focus on political correctness and social justice commentary. I'm going to go ahead and pause and say, yes, it will be. Yeah, the fact that we're even raising that question, I feel like anything they, anytime they remake something, they just are like, and you know what this needs? Some gender queerty and just some more LGBT. Like, is this what anyone who plays this game wants? People have already commented when they found out that the main character is going to be a single mom. They were like, oh boy. Well, they needed more representation in video games. They, they've just been crying out for it for years. Well, what I don't understand is why these companies do this because they know that's not their target audience. That's not what their, you know, viewership or usership wants. And they're going to face boycotts, but they continue to do it over and over again anyway. Like, what's the incentive? I've never quite understood. Like, just purely from a financial point of view, you would think, huh, my users hate when I do this and they don't buy my game. I'm going to stop doing this. Maybe they think the game is so good, the franchise is so good, it's going to sell no matter what, and they want to indoctrinate and give another perspective on life. Like, have you ever thought, hey, 15-year-old boy, have you ever thought what it was like to be a, a, a ex-convict single mother? <laughs> <laughs> well, you should. I don't, I don't, Maybe that's good. Oh. I don't know if that's the angle. I think it's more like some uh, uh, two things happen. Rockstar hires a 24-year-old 10 years ago, and... Uh, you know, they're they're working in the mailroom or something. Ten years later, they're in marketing and they're in their mid thirties. And they say, Okay, so we're gonna finally be put it's it's been how long? Like ten some ten or longer than ten years, right? Since GTA five came out. And they're like, We're gonna be launching Grand Theft Auto Six finally. The game is done. How, or, 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 or I'm sorry, actually we should we should go back in time a few years. They said, We're conceptualizing this game. What should we do? And this person said, Well, if you wanna get people our age, you've gotta make it you know, uh, social justice and the character should be a woman. It should be a woman of color. It should be uh, all centered around marginalized peoples. And they were like, really marketing guy comes in and says, look, GTA five sold 70% of games to men. We got teenagers, we got gifts for kids, but it's almost entirely young males. How do we double our market? I'll, I'll tell you this. Take a look at makeup. The smartest thing the makeup industry did was pay tons of money to dudes who put on makeup because they're like, listen, women wear makeup. It's a guarantee. But that means sales are 90 percent to women. We could double our market overnight if we convince dudes to wear makeup. Mm -hmm. So the big makeup companies specifically are like, find me prominent personality men who wear makeup and we're going to give them a lot of money. Yeah. All of a sudden, now you have people making makeup channels and they're dudes. And they backed drag becoming trendy because not only do our drag queens men who put on makeup, oh, yeah. but they wear a lot of makeup. So you're buying a ton of products then. Yep. I That's feel it. like the Capitalism. women yeah. are oftentimes more left leaning, obviously, but also more permissive of, of inclusivity. Yeah. So I think, you know, you saw with Bud Light such backlash because it was a male dominated market. So I just I'm curious to see, you know, in these male um, dominated industries, if they continue to kind of push back against this stuff more so than women did. I feel like, and it's not my area of expertise, but with video games and comic books and things that I think of as more traditionally masculine spaces, 
even when there's a little bit of backlash, it's not enough to change the company's mind. The company just does it anyways. It's like it doesn't respect the people that are at its core. It knows ultimately they'll play the game because they want to see it. What's a female space? Mm, like if male spaces true. are, you know, like football and video games and sports and stuff like that, what's a female space? Like movies, you could say you can go either way. It just depends on the movie. Salon, women, spa type? Yeah, I was going to yeah. say salon, like beauty industry. Women are much more socially based. And so, you know, I would think, like traditionally for a long time, it was like volunteer organizations were predominantly led by women. That's a little mm -hmm. bit, that's not as true now because we don't really partake in cultural community events. Um, I think in some ways, like online, it would be like the lifestyle vlogger, the mommy vlogger, the, the fashion content. It would be things that are more about that. You're seeing a crossover of like women like I see a lot of uh, push for like women's DIY projects, women using power tools because it's them fixing up their house, but that's ultimately them being a in a domestic, traditionally female space. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that helps you with your question, but that's where I see women. I don't know if you see women out and about. People are saying the Saints Row reboot was bad. Cyberpunk was bad. I don't know. You know, maybe. I mean, I, I there's there's an element of politics in 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 all a lot of these games, but I wonder why they they just don't make it so you can you know I don't know design your own character. Like with Baldur's Gate, we talked about that. Baldur's Gate 3 comes out and you can literally make your character some kind of freakish abomination. Mm -hmm. You can make it like a orcish woman with a beard and just, just go wild with it. Yeah. You know, I mean, make some kind of monster. That's effectively true in the Sims 2 games. I know there's like a hundred of them now, which I think of as being very popular among women, but they're not as fantasy oriented. They're not as sort of sci-fi. Also, they don't tend to go on quests. They just sort of live at home and have relationships mm -hmm. and then... You decorate their house. It's essentially a virtual dollhouse. I think that I think what they're thinking with GTA is that. So, so the the big issue people are pointing out is the main character is female. It's never been done before, and I'm not. You know, I, I agree with some of the some of the counter critique. It's it's just because they make a character that's female that you play does not inherently make the game woke or whatever. They might be thinking like, well, yeah, we've done nothing but dudes. I mean, maybe we make a female character, but I'm just, I, I you know, if you guys have played GTA, right? Yep. You've never played, no, GTA. No, I've never played GTA. You guys, look at this. See, look we're at, not the target audience. No, we're not. <laughs> Why would I want to pick up a game where I'm going to run around, opening fire onto random cars, mercilessly beat people in the street, steal things, and there's a whole lot of other really awful things you can do in the game, but do it as a woman. It's like, okay, in, in every game, you're a guy and you can run around and just beat random people and shoot them and just do all this crazy shenanigans. But now it's like you're a woman doing it. Okay, so here's the game. You're a woman. You run around Miami. You run up to a random guy and swing at him. And then he punches you one time and you're dead and you wake up in the hospital. So, okay, with <laughs> Wasted. GTA, are Equality. you like trying to accomplish something? Is there so a, there's, like a, there's a storyline and then there's missions and then GTA 5 is heavily online. Yeah, I feel like the way you're describing it, you would want the strongest character, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and it's sure. it's like this push that we're seeing, you know, with women in combat roles or as police officers. So there's videos that go viral. I think there was one this week of, you know, four or so police officers unable to subdue one male. So I would think yes. that you would want the man mm -hmm. to be your unless character their if you're playing line, this game. Unless her storyline is like she's going to go beat up her ex-boyfriend, who's the reason she's in prison. No, anyways. no. <laughs> look, look, look. I, I have played every GTA since the very the first one on PC, which was a top down view. And like you can barely see your little guy and you're running around. It's funny. Then GTA 3 comes out and it's 3D and we're all excited. I have never played the missions. Never. The moment I get GTA, I turn it on and I immediately just walk around, steal a car, crash into buildings, launch in the air, explore the map and just go totally hog wild. Mm -hmm. So I propose someone mod the game. Assuming it comes out for PC, I think it is. And they make it, and they can call it Realistic Edition. And you can play as the same woman. And when you run up to a guy and swing at him, it doesn't hurt him. And then he hits you once. You go down. And you're and it, when, when you go down, it goes wasted. And then <laughs> w when you wake up, you're walking out of the hospital. And if you get arrested, you're walking out of the police station. Same thing. The woman swings at a guy, hits him. He, nothing happens. He punches one time. And then you go down. Well, that, that'll be the game. It'd be more interesting. It would be, it would be <laughs> much more realistic. Yeah. <laughs> Because then you'd have to figure out how to live in this weird, brutal society that you're in as a woman, and you're as you're if you're a male well, player. Don't commit crimes. But this thing, like, if you're a male player, you're maybe used to having these strong guys who beat people up. You don't go to the hospitals often, and if you had to play as a female character, you're like maybe it makes it more challenging because you're not as good at fighting or whatever. It would change the 
purpose of the game. Like maybe you would spend more time scaling buildings and doing something else. And then that's one of the reasons that I think video games that are targeted towards men and women are slightly different. They are drawn towards different activities. Their brains are rewarded by different behaviors. So you, it doesn't sound interesting to me to walk around and beat up, you know, ladies of the night in GTA, but- Oh, it's crazier you know. than that. I mean, the game, it's nuts. But uh, sir, do you remember San Andreas? Uh, yes, I do. That, that was the one where your guy could get fat, right? Yeah. If I hope they do that. At the fast food place? <laughs> yeah, right? that's right. Yeah, yeah. In San GTA San Andreas, you could go to the gym and start working out and your guy would ripped. get ripped yeah. or you go to the fast food place and just keep eating burgers and he would get fatter yeah. and fatter. This is fatter. a good life That's lesson. Fun. These but, are great video games. Okay, but I gotta tell you, if they do that in GTA 6, it will be the best game ever because I will take that lady and I will <laughs> slam burgers until she is massive and then have her just like bounce around <laughs> Miami. Then she could roll people tanked. over. Maybe she would have more yeah. ways to defend I don't, herself. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if the game would allow anything like that. But just like playing as having this morbidly obese woman trying to get into cars just, and just like, yeah, it'd be just it'd a be. tank, just so heavy. Just every hit is just a haymaker to everybody she encounters. Man, I can see that. That'd be fun. But she gets tired really quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that agility. Definitely. <laughs> it's not there. The agility perks for sure, yeah. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored, members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.